Hey guys, so today I've done a Queen of Hearts inspired makeup look from Alice in Wonderland and Alice Through the Looking Glass, the Tim Burton versions. And I really like, well I don't really like it because I look like a right weirdo. But it's an interesting look, that's what I'm going to say. So basically, to create this beauty off with their heads. Anyway, I use the white cream makeup from Poundland and I use the sponge that come with it to dabble it all over me because Queenie is nice and white basically. And then I well I didn't do this but I wish I did do this. Where's the eyeliner gone? I've lost it. I've lost the eyeliner that I did this with. Are you serious? How can I lose? Found you. It's all good. Right, so for the blue eyes, I use this Bright Eyes blue eyeliner and I do two lines where I did not smudge that very well, anyway. Um, I did two lines drawing from the eyelid to the eyebrow. And then basically I did this and did lots of just lines. Hang on. Lots of lines like this. And then just smudged until it made this lovely bright blue colour. Then I actually did my eyeliner properly and did the rest of the eyelid in blue because I thought it probably should be. And then I did my mascara in the PS Love mascara volume boost mascara because Queenie has quite defined lashes. I then, where's the other eyeliner, did my eyebrows. I covered the blue on half my eyebrow and because I don't have brow pencils I used an eye, my Jet Black Mirror Makeup Academy Jet Black eyeliner to just literally draw over them because she has very defined eyebrows but she normally has just the line and obviously I'm not just going to do one line so I filled them in up to the blue you know on one eyebrow always is better than the other eyebrow yeah. so yeah and then I she has one odd freckle so I literally to do this Got the eyeliner, put it where it was, and just went like this to get your freckle. Then I used the Fern Cotton Lush Lippy Red Lipstick and filled in my Cupid's bow first, covered in red. And then just did the other bit on the bottom lip. Couldn't get a point. My lipstick isn't that pointy to do that. But I think either way it doesn't look that bad. But honestly, I don't think I'd do this makeup look. Like if I was going out to a Halloween party, I don't think I'd do this. But, you know, it's there if you want it. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my Queen of Hearts Off With Your Head makeup look for Halloween, basically. And I will see you next time for another makeup look. Bye guys.